Subtitle Edit 4.0.6 is ready for testing and this is a video to kind of request anyone that uses Subtitle Edit to go test it out for bugs before the official version comes out in a week or so or if there are no bugs reported under the comment section on the post uh, on GitHub then obviously Nicolaj is going to release it as a good version so my request is kindly test it out. now. Uh, so some new main stuff and this is something I've talked about uh, in the channel before. We're not going to have a text to speech feature, more or less subtitle speech integration is going to be available under the video menu uh, and then some few bugs were, uh, were found by some other people and they've been mentioned and been tackled which is a good way. And now we can generate video with band in subtitles batch mode. Uh, it's it's a really helpful feature to have in subtitle edit instead of kind of moving on and going to handbrake and so on and so forth and it's really really awesome and there are also a few fixes on auto translate so you can read more about fixes and improvements in the change log this one open link in new tab and this is the raw uh, change log and as you can see added text to speech ban in batch mode new LRC with milliseconds format, new subtitle format, whisper output, add CPS option to modify selection and then the improved options for the languages and then uh, this uh, show voice whisper done message uh, model also if not focused allow re-encode with banning without subtitle so you can actually re-encode a video now without banning in the subtitle that is if the video does not have a subtitle you can also re-encode it in subtitle edit uh, our new Lama 3 model uh, It's the default for all Lama translate and allow vertical zoom zoom out in waveform control shift mouse wheel uh, and then add auto translate advanced settings some improvements for auto translate uh, set default chat GPT model that is a translation model to GPT 4.0 which is really awesome and we also have some new hotkeys and also an update to whisper CPP to 1.6.0 so this is download link for the beta version and I've already downloaded it. It's right here. You can actually just create a new folder, drag it inside here uh, so that we can just have a look, extract. Please remember the beta version is more or less like a portable version. I'm just going to delete this and then just double click on this, the .exe file, open this and if I check the about, it's subtitle edit 4.0.5 next beta 495. Uh, let's just do just one quick thing. Let's go to video player and download mpvlib. Uh, as always, the reason why we have to download mpvlib is so that we can actually be able to see or preview our subtitles, how they're going to kind of look like in the video. Uh, it actually helps us see, depending on the different options we're going to use, how good or bad the subtitles are going to be looking like. And there's also another added advantage uh, to this latest update is that for the subtitle preview font that you see here at Homer Bold, we now have new a bunch of new options in the burning window. Uh, for example, you can add a bold of sorts uh, to try and get the look and feel that you get with uh, Tahoma when it's in here uh, in the preview window, which is really, really awesome. Uh, my internet is acting up today. Uh, we've had a sub-C cut cable, so this normally takes like a second, but it's taking like the whole day. But anyway, uh, there's a ton of things in the latest uh, version of subtitle edit that's coming out. Uh, this video is entirely be, uh, dedicated to testing out what's coming because this is going to help us improve subtitle edit for the better and it's grown over the years. So uh, the text to speech feature, includes a lot of things. We've got Piper TTS, Tortoise TTS, Coqui TTS, 11 Labs APIs. Uh, it's it's just everywhere and uh, it also has a very good feature called review clips. Once uh, you kind of generate and listen to the clips and you think that they're not going the way they need to be, then you can change some few things. For example, if you write centimeters as CM and you think that the voice, uh, that the text to speech feature did not work well with CM, you can write centimeters, the word, and once you do that, you kind of find that it reads it out better than it did when it was CM. So kilometers and so on and so forth. It's it's just that a ton of things that have really improved in subtitle edit 
and in my opinion making it the best free subtitling software out there probably even at going toe to toe with the paid versions uh, i think could even be the best f subtitling software out there uh, considering uh, the paid and the free versions so mpv is uh, downloaded then you can just do uh, maybe audio to text we get ffmpeg uh, is going to be very important uh, especially when uh, you're doing audio to text and also when you're doing the binding in of the subtitles to the video uh, so it's going to be important for us to kind of have ffmpeg uh, ready for us uh, to work uh, but all i'm trying to say here is the versions released like the subtitle edit release 4.0.6 is more or less a version that builds on what is already good by adding features that have been integrated and in my opinion we only have kind of some few features that are not really available in subtitle edit more or less like being able to uh, ocr hard band subtitles into uh, subtitles that is probably a request i've seen i'm not so sure how difficult it is to implement uh, but i've seen it uh, once in a while and also more or less having like uh, the control to kind of sync text and make subtitles better than what we have that is using different repositories available on github i've seen people make such requests we also have the availability of subtitle edit on mac that is still something that is not yet finalized uh, because of different uh, the way mac operating system handles the different options and obviously coding a program should just be you can code in for example uh, most of uh, subtitle edits is coded in c so if it's c it's the same it applies for uh, linux and for mac hopefully in future a mac version is going to be available and this is actually going to uh, make subtitle edit the only software you'll probably ever need and for that matter it's free and that's why i kind of like it so uh, we've got that ready i'm not going to download this because it's going to be a huge one let's go with const me yes there's a small one should be small should be done and i can actually just go with a tiny version because i don't know how long it's taking to kind of download anything here although it's of it's not of any importance uh to actually download the whisper model for me right now because i'm i want to preview some some different options here uh but it's just a walkthrough here so let's go and see what we get so that's what we get for a sub c cut of our internet cables coming to east africa but it's all good so uh that's just the basics of what i do uh, when i install a new version now uh, we have the batch band mode you go to video generate video with band in subtitle and as i've mentioned we now have the option to have an outline and bold so you can try and mimic what you see inside here right inside here now the batch mode or the batch band mode is down here if uh, you're actually working with more or less like you have a video ready you'll see it written batch mode here but because we have it right here just click on add and then you select the videos that you want to batch ban and you need to already have the subtitles for these ready i'll click on open and if the subtitles are available you'll see them appear next right here under the subtitle file you can maximize this to be able to see everything and then you can remove clear or set the output folder save in source folder or your own uh, source for uh, output folder right here where you want it to be and you can change the suffix so that it's probably a name that you'll be able to remember so i'll just click on cancel and if you're satisfied just click on generate and they're all going to convert the way they need to convert so that is uh, one of the few things mentioned right here generate video with band subtitles batch mode that's really awesome and then we've got let's go to video let's just open any video file and then we've got uh, the text to speech and add to video you can click on this and you can see that we have a couple of engines here we've got piper all talk tts kokui ai tts microsoft speech synthesizer 11 labs tts microsoft azure tts tts 
tortoise tts it's a ton of things here so uh you can see piper it's fast it's good this is free and we have the the paid ones are actually written microsoft azure pay 11 labs pay uh, for these two 11 labs and azure you pay for them for the others they are good some are fast some are slow but they're good uh if you try to do piper and let's say we want to use uh let's say what what do we want to use whichever uh, that's available let's click on test if you click on test it prompts you to download piper text to speech it's not a really big uh more or less repository it's a small one and uh, with a better internet connection this just takes a couple of like seconds or something and once you download the engine then it's going to download uh, alan's voice for piper tts and read the text down here so if you've already uh, kind of transcribed and subtitled your video then you click on generate from speech what it does is going to actually generate that and try to match it to your mouth so it's it's really awesome and also another awesome thing about this particular release is that you can also review the audio clips as i've mentioned if you mention centimeters and the subtitle is written cm sometimes it reads it differently uh, as compared to when you have centimeters the word uh, available kilometers km and so on and so forth so it's really good that we can actually be able to do all this inside subtitle edit and it's free uh, for anyone that wants to start to test it out and see how it works so the engine is done downloading and then uh, alan's voice is going to download and for piper it's a free version and still has a ton of voices that you can choose from uh, i've tested it with a swahili uh, version and did a good job i've also tested 11 labs uh, and there's a free quota uh, for the free uh, API account or the free account that you sign up. So, hello, how are you? That's how it sounds. Hello, how are you? Good, it's free and so on and so forth. So, if you had subtitles here, then uh, what would happen? Let's say video, let's say generate audio to text. Let's click on generate. Let's see what we get. Let's say we go video, text to speech. Let's see. Let's check this first. Generate speech from text. Adjusting speed. And then you'll get this. So if I actually play. In this video, I'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos, TikToks, Reels, Superfasts using this group. We're going to be adding emojis, capitalizing. Sarin was that you'd like to capitalize. They elect some Aussie style and everything that you'd like to see. Stick around to the end. I'll show you how to make this super, super fast. Thanks for watching and let's begin. It sounds good. Uh, slightly robotic, but if you wanted to edit anything, you can just click on edit and you'll edit that particular section let's say we click on this click on edit and you can edit whatever you want to edit right inside here and then click on regenerate it's really really awesome to have this right inside subtitle edit uh just click ok but remember to always check review all audio clips and once you actually say uh, that you're satisfied with this you can add it to the video so that you'll have your video in alan's voice so it's really really awesome uh, but those are some of the few things available and more or less the text to speech integration needs to be tested some more uh, i believe the rest are more or less okay only the text to speech needs some uh, more investigations and uh, just for people to actually get a better finished product so i'm going to leave uh, the link to this particular release option here uh, that is for the issues section so that you can go make comments on bugs that you find uh, once you test the beta and so on and so forth. So I hope this video is of value to you and that's what's coming in subtitle edit 4.0.6. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.